Uh, you said headed in the right direction, but obviously more uh, needs to be done. At a fundraiser on Wednesday night, the president was talking about, in the, I think in Oakland, in the context of what the Clinton administration did, and you said this as well yesterday here in the briefing room, um, about sort of the balanced approach, as you call it. Um, he said, quote, we tried our plan and it worked. But he was not just talking about his plan, he was talking about the Clinton proposal. He was talking about the Clinton proposal, and I understand that as part of the course, maybe this goes to Jake's question of, um, an effort to serially distort uh, what the president said. I mean, anybody who listens uh, listened to that set of remarks and has heard the president, uh, President Obama, discuss uh, President Clinton's record uh, surely understands. He was citing the approach that was taken by President Clinton, uh, an approach that, I, as I noted, noted yesterday, for those of us who covered it, in 1993, uh, when uh, the president uh, Clinton's economic plan was passed and it included uh, – uh, increases in revenue uh, that uh, Republicans, including some of the very leaders in, uh, in Congress today, uh, declared from the floor of the House and the Senate uh, that it would lead to recession, uh, economic decline, stagnation, unemployment, uh, and uh, they were wrong entirely and completely. And it led instead to the longest peacetime expansion in our history, and it led to the creation of 24 million jobs. A uh, pretty good record. So that's what the President, President Obama was talking about. And so that's the context. My question is, is he running on the Clinton economy or the Obama economy? He is running on uh, his record. He is running on a vision for the future uh, and an economic plan that uh, as a one component, that has as one component uh, a fundamental principle that uh, everyone ought to uh, play by the same set of rules and everybody ought to uh, get a fair shot and everyone ought to uh, pay their fair share. And part of the paying their fair share is uh, simply suggesting that the highest income Americans, those making over $250,000, the top 2 percent, including millionaires and billionaires, uh, can afford to and should uh, pay income taxes at the marginal rate that was in place in the 1990s uh, when we had uh, one of the strongest economies uh, in American history and when we created 24 million jobs. Uh, uh, an economic record uh, that uh, uh, occurred despite all the predictions of Republican leaders. But it's not that with unemployment over 8 percent, GDP slowing down now, the worst in a year, you'd rather talk about those years than – We're not ta – we're, we're talking about – he's talking about an economic policy. His plan, which he talks about all the time, which involves uh, a balanced approach, including uh, ex expiration of the high-end Bush tax cuts, uh, and as a rebuttal to – uh, the assertions from Republicans that uh, this is terrible economic policy. He points to uh, the facts, which is that, uh, which are that under President Clinton, marginal rates at that level um, were in place when we saw this uh, uh, substantial economic growth and job creation. Uh, but let's be clear. Uh, I, I saw recently um, uh, it's suggested by. Uh, a leading Republican that uh, the next president, whether it's President Obama in his second term or uh, his opponent in his first, uh, that his policies, uh, economic policies, should be uh, judged after six or nine months after they come into office. And then after that period, then uh, you know, it's a fair grace period to uh, after which you can judge whether or not those policies are having an impact. Um, I find that uh, fascinating. Uh, given some of the discourse uh, that we've engaged in uh, over uh, recent months. Uh, but if you do take that standard and apply it to President Obama, who took office during the worst uh, cataclysmic economic recession in full bloom uh, of our lifetimes uh, and uh, began to measure the economy's performance after his first six months in office, we'll just start at six months, not even nine months, and you'll uh, see a, a record of uh, economic growth and job creation uh, as we emerge from the worst recession since the Great Depression um, and positive job creation, net job creation. Uh, it is not enough. Uh, as we saw today with the GDP numbers, the economy is not growing fast enough. Uh, the economy is not creating jobs fast enough. And this, pro this president says that every time he speaks about the economy, and that's why he calls on Congress uh, to do the right thing, to pass, for the House to pass the measure that cleared the Senate this week. Uh, that would extend tax cuts to 98 percent uh, of the American people and to 97 percent of small businesses in America, uh, and to pass the measures of the American Jobs Act that would create or save uh, over a million jobs, that would put teachers back in the classroom, 
uh, first responders back on the job and construction workers back to work. Yes.